Century's Little Dragon Blocker Target video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Little Dragon Blocker, then some drills with the Little Dragon Target, and then we'll put them together. So watch and see how much variation you can add to your classroom and to your standard drills by just adding these two key components. Come on in, Hunter. All right, you brought my blocker for me. Thank you so much, sir. I'm going to take this from you, and I'm going to show you some cool drills that we can do with this blocker. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. First of all, I'm going to put this blocker aside for just a second to make sure you understand what we're going to do. So get in a defense stance looking right at me. Good. Actually, switch. Put the other leg in front. Very good. Now, what I want you to do is just to play follow the leader, okay? The first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to duck, but make sure you keep your eyes right on me. So ready? Duck. Good. And then come back up. And duck. Good, and back up. Now this time I want you to jump, and I want you to jump really high and pull your knees up as high as you can. Ready, jump. Very good, and ready, jump. Good. Now this time we're gonna, we're gonna vary it a little bit, where I'm gonna tell you to duck and then jump. And I'm not gonna do it with you. Let's see if you can do it. Hands up, and duck. Oh, now I didn't say jump yet. Ready, duck. Jump. Good, jump. Duck. Very good, switch your feet. Very good. All right, now we're going to do the same drill, but this time we're going to add the blocker with it. Now be careful when you're working with your little dragon, make sure that you don't try to take his head off with this. If you do hit him, it won't hurt. That doesn't hurt, does it? No, ma'am. Okay. And, but when you do have them jump, don't take their feet out from under them. Instead, I kind of just swipe it right in front of them and let them jump. But if they miss, I'm not going to knock their feet out from under them. Are you ready, sir? Yes, ma'am. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. All right, hands up for me. And ready, duck. Jump. Good. Let's do that again. Ready, duck. Jump. Excellent. Now, Hunter's really good at this, so you can mix it up on him a little bit. Now, you got to listen very carefully because you don't know what I'm going to say. Ready, duck. Come back up. And duck. And duck. Jump. Duck. Jump. Jump! Oh, he missed that one, but I didn't knock him out, so be careful. Ready, let's do that one again. Ready, jump! Jump! Duck! Excellent, give me five. Very good, you did excellent with this. You can really vary this a lot, and as the more skilled they get, you can go faster, you can make them jump higher, you can make them duck lower, you can really vary the skill a lot. Now we're going to use the same blocker, and we're going to add some more to it. But before we do, let's play some more follow the leader so you know what we're doing, okay? So I'm put this blocker down, and switch your feet. Good. Yeah. Hands up just like that. Now when I say move right, I want you to take one step. So ready? One step to the right. Good. Move left one step. Move right one step. Move left one step. Very good. Now, this time I'm going to use my blocker with this. So you don't want to get hit with the blocker, so make sure you take a really good step so you don't chop your foot off or anything. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, hands up and move right. Good, move left. Move right. Move left. Good, now this time I'm not gonna point, so we'll really work on your right and left skills. Take one step closer to me, please. Very good, and move. Move. Good, now come back. And move right. Move right. I, <laughs> I tricked you on that one. You can be tricky and have fun when you're working on this, but let's do that again. Ready, move right. Move left. Move left. Oh, one more time, move left. Oh, give me five. I know that's confusing, and I'm trying to trick you because you're so good at this. All right, take one more step closer to me. Another great movement drill to do with the blocker is to work on their timing. Children at this age, at Little Dragon Age, really have a hard time sometimes judging distance and, and really getting that timing factor. So what we can do is just move the blocker up and down like this in front of them, and they have to watch it, and when they find the opening, they just run through. So whenever you're ready, Hunter, as soon as you find the opening, run through. Very good, piece of cake. Hunter's really good at this. Hunter, come right back where you started, kiddo. Now, same idea. Going up and down is a little bit easier for most dragons, but you can also go side to side and have them jump over it. So if I'm on the floor and I'm going like this, Hunter's got to watch it very closely, and when he times it, very good, he's going to run through. Now come on back for me, kiddo. Now when you're incorporating this into your class, or home training, or whatever you're using this for, you can really use this to build on several skills. 
when we do this in the classroom, whenever we're doing an obstacle course, we always start with a timing drill. So this is kind of our way to hold them back before they go into the obstacle course. When it's time for them to go in, we'll go ahead and start moving the blocker. They have to time it, run through it, and then go ahead and finish the course. If you have Century's Little Dragon Wave Master, that's a great thing for them to go do, to hit or kick. So we can actually have them run through this, kick the, kick the Wave Master, come back and run through it again before they go to the end of the line or do it again. So just build on this however you would like. Now this next blocker activity, again, is working on timing, but now we're incorporating their martial arts skills with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the blocker up and down just a little bit in front of Hunter, and he needs to look for the openings to punch either above the target when I go low or below the target when I go high. So watch this and let's see how he does just in the air. Hunter, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so hands up for me, kiddo. Very good. All right, now as I move it, you can punch above or below, but whatever you do, don't punch the blocker, okay? And go. Ooh, I almost got you with that one. Good. Ooh, those are some fast punches. You are really bringing them in and out fast. Excellent, excellent. Now freeze. Ooh, sorry, kiddo. <laughs> All right, now for this next one, we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to have him working on his kicks. I don't want him to kick the blocker. Instead, he's going to kick above it as I go low, so he needs to watch very closely. Are you ready, kiddo? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ready? And just front kicks. Oops. Now wait till it gets low. Wait till it gets low. Watch the timing. That's it. That's it. Very good. One more time. Excellent. Give me five on that. Good. Now, we can do the same activity. If you have a Wave Master, this makes it even more fun. We can get over here on the Wave Master. So, Hunter, take a step right here for me, kiddo. Now, we're going to start with the punches first. So, switch. There you go. I want you to punch Mr. Dragon right on the nose, okay? So, watch for that focus and then watch for this blocker. And whenever you have the opening, I want you to punch him right there. Good. Excellent. Wow, those are some fast punches. Good. That's it. Right on. You are awesome. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the kicks. Do you think you can kick right up here at this little triangle? You think so? Okay. Can you switch your feet for me? Switch. There you go. Ready? And watch the target. That's it. Very good. One more time. Excellent job. Give me five. The kids really like to do this activity and it will really help them to judge distance and start being able to time things. As they get a little bit older and they start working on more sparring drills and so forth, this will be a great skill to enhance those, those abilities. Now that we've worked these skills individually, he's worked on his punches, he's worked on his kicks, now I know Hunter is really good and he is really ready to go ahead and combine them. So I'm going to let him do whatever he wants, punches or kicks, he just needs to look for that opportunity, kick the bag or punch the bag in between the blocker without hitting the blocker. Hunter, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Good. Ooh, there we go. Keep going. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. Very good. Oh, I almost got gotcha. you. That's it. One more time. Excellent. Give me five, kiddo. Hunter is really good at this. So he's one of my older dragons, so we can really do a lot. Don't overwhelm your dragons. If, they're, if you see that they're having trouble, go slower with the blocker or make much bigger arm movements so that you're really telegraphing. So you don't want them to be real frustrated. If they get hit nonstop, then they're going to get frustrated with it. If they do it just a little bit, it will challenge them to do better, just like Hunter did, and he did an excellent job. Now, some other variations that we can do, if you're using this in a group session, you can also do this kind of like a, with a line drill where, um, Hunter, let's just back up just a little bit for me, kiddo, right there. What I'll do is I'll work on this timing where he has to run through this blocker, he has to run up to the little dragon bag, and he has to kick it, and then he has to come back through the timing drill, and then if we had a line of kids, he would high-five the next child and go to the back of the line, and then we would keep going. Or you can just do this one-on-one. -on -one. Hunter, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Whenever you find it, the time, run through, kick, and then come right back through. Very good, excellent job. Now you can do the same thing with the other timing drill too where you're going across the floor. Okay, Hunter, are you ready? Now this time you need to run over it. And this time I want you to palm strike. Palm, you remember palm strikes with the palm? There you go. I want you to palm strike the Wave Master. Ready? Very good. Now come back through. Oops, go back. And then come back through. Excellent, excellent job. Give me five, kiddo. And then of course if you had a group, 
the next person would go, and then the next person, and so forth. Otherwise, we can just run him ragged. So have fun, be creative, and vary the skills that you're having them work on. Now this next activity that we can do with the blocker will help them with their kicking ability. Uh, dragons especially have a really hard time chambering and recoiling their kicks. So a lot of times you'll end up kind of getting sloppy kicks this way, but we want them to pull that knee up real high before and after they kick. To help, give, to help drill that activity, what I'm going to do is hold the blocker really low and they can't kick the blocker, they have to kick over. If they hit the blocker, then I know that they're dragging their feet real low. So let's try this and see how it goes. All right, kiddo, stand right there for me. I'm going to hold this blocker real low. Take, take a little step forward because I want this almost touching you, okay? Now, I want you to kick over this with a really good front kick. So hands up for me. Good. Now, whatever you do, don't touch the blocker. So pull that knee up real high. Ready? And go. Beautiful. Do that one more time for me. Ready? And give me a kia this time. Ready? Go. Yeah. Excellent. Give me five. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing with a roundhouse kick. So put your left foot in front for me, kiddo. Just like that. All right, now this time, I'm going to have you kick over the, to, over the blocker again, just like you just did, all right? So let me hold it like this. And I want you to do it with this leg, okay? So do a lead leg roundhouse kick and don't hit the blocker. Ready, go. Kick real high. Kick as high as you can. Ready, go. Okay, all right. If you want to do the other leg, that works. That was a beautiful roundhouse kick, too, by the way. Give me five. Good, so hands up for me. Do that same kick. Why don't you do the same leg since you like that leg, but this time I want you to give me a loud kia. Ready? Go! Kia! Yeah. Beautiful! Now this time I'm going to use the same blocker for the same kick. We're going to work on that roundhouse kick, but now I'm going to work on targeting. I want him to hit the blocker this time, and we're also going to work on the height of his kick. I'm going to start low and have him just kick it, and then we'll go a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Hands up for me. Come much closer. Very good. And right here, just roundhouse kick, and this time I want you to hit the target. Ready? Go. Beautiful. Now this time, can you pull, once you do that roundhouse kick, can you pull that kick right back, right where it started? Ready? Do that again. Go. Very good. Now hands up for me. Now I'm going to move this blocker up just a little bit higher. Go ahead and kick it again. Go. Good. And a little bit higher. Go. Good. And a little bit higher. Go. Excellent. Can we go a little bit higher? Let's see. Now give me Kia so we got it real high. Go. Kia. Yeah. Beautiful. Give me five on that. Excellent. We can keep going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, can't we? Can't we? Say yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you like working on high kicks? Yes, good. He did excellent today. Depending on whether you're having trouble with them chambering, recoiling, or the height of their kick, the blocker will come in handy for this technique. Now this next blocker activity makes sense because it's all about blocking. These blockers are perfectly designed for blocking because they're large, so you can hit the target pretty easily, and they're very cushioned. So I get to beat up on my friend Matthew a little bit today, but he's really good at his blocking, so let's see how he does. Hands up for me, kiddo. Now let's just show everybody how many blocks you know. So let's start with a high block on this arm. Ready? High block, boom, good. And then outside block, same arm. Boom. And then down block, same arm. Boom. Very good. Now Matthew knows all of his blocks really well. Because of this, I can really vary this drill a lot. If he didn't know this very well, we could just build it up by, for instance, like his outside block. If he didn't know that, go ahead and show me an outside block. Go ahead and put that arm out and just hold it out there. What we can do is kind of put it into the right position, now freeze it right there, and then tell him that we're going to hit with the forearm right here. We're not hitting with the, with the hand. He's not blocking with his elbow. He's not blocking with his head. He's blocking with his whole forearm. And just get them accustomed to feeling the impact on the forearm. And then same thing. Now take this block and put it right over your head. Very good. Now just hold it right there and don't let me hit you in the head. I'm just going to pound on it just like that very nicely. Excellent job. Now the down block is to protect yourself from somebody trying to kick you in the side. So hold that down block there, down there real good. Now keep it firm. Excellent. Now. Matthew's been working with me for quite a while, so he knows not to chase the blocker. Sometimes when you're working with a child, they'll chase that blocker down, and, and, and it, end up, it, it will end up not being a very good block. It's like they're just kind of almost punching it or trying to strike it, and they lose the idea of blocking. So if that's the case, slow it down and just pinpoint exactly what you want them to work on first. Then you can go ahead and start doing a more dynamic drill with it as they get those skills.
Now, because I know Matthew is so good at this, I have a second blocker, and I'm going to pull that out, and I'm going to work both sides of his body, working on not only timing, but his blocking ability and his ability to figure out where I'm going with the blocks. So let me grab my other blocker. All right, kiddo, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we're going to start slow with this so that we have good successes. If I go, and, and I'm going to really exaggerate my movement, so whenever you're working with your dragon, don't keep it real tight like this. That will just really confuse them. Instead, if I want them to do a high block, I'm going to swing real high this side, okay? If I want them to do a high block with the other hand, I'm going to go real high with the other hand. And then same thing, outside block way over here, and outside block way over here, and then down block way down, way down, good, and then down block way down. Now, it's hard for dragons to differentiate sometimes between the outside block and the down block, so use a lot of verbal cues too and give them a heads up so they know how to prepare. Matthew, are, we, are you ready to go a little bit faster? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. We're going to start high, high, out, out, low, low. Okay? Now I've just told him what we're going to do, so now he can just do it. As he gets better, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Okay, so guard up for me, kiddo. That's right. Ready? And high. High. Out. Out. Down. Down. High. High. Out. Out. Down. Down. Very good. Give me a high five right here. Excellent. Okay, now Matthew's so good at this, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. But I'm still going to give him the verbal cues so he knows where to go, especially with the, the difference between the down blocks and the outside blocks. Ready, kiddo? Yes, ma'am. Okay, hands up for me. Now I'm going to mix it up on you, okay? So ready? High. Outside. Down. 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 Good. High. 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 Outside. 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 Oh, good again. Outside, good. Outside, outside. One more time, and again. And down block. Down, 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 down. High, high, down, down. Outside, outside. High, high, down, down. There we go. Down, down. There you go. Give me double fives. Go. <laughs> there you go. Good. He did great. This could be really confusing. You can see, as I built the skill up and started going faster and started making it more confusing, he got a little bit confused, but for the most part, he did great. Make sure they're having more successes with this than they are failures. So if you see that they're struggling, back off. Start going back to having it more um, uh, standard, you know, where you're doing high, high, outside, outside, down, down. You can also use your voice a little bit, and you notice how I use my inflections. My voice is much higher when I do high blocks and much lower when I do the down blocks. That will help give them some cues as well. So have fun, be creative, and build their confidence with blocking skills. Now next we're working with the targets. The targets can be used a lot the same way as the blockers when it comes to blocking. So let me just show you some blocking drills with the targets as well. Brady, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sweetie, we're just going to run through high block, outside block, and down blocks, but we're going to use the targets instead, okay? So hands up for me, kiddo, right there at guard position, and let's start right here. So high block up high, boom, and again, and then outside block and outside block, and down block real low, boom, and down block real low, boom, very good, give me five. Good, see you can use two targets the exact same way that you use the blockers. Just be careful because you tend to have a little bit more of, a, of an impact because your whole arm is being used rather than just the little blocker. So now we're gonna go on to some striking. The targets are great for striking and I like to use them a lot to help the child with focus rather than power. I really like to use the Wave Masters more for power, but as we know, little dragons sometimes have a real hard time focusing. And these are great because uh, they have a little picture of the dragon on them, and so I'm gonna tell them to, to pop the dragon right in the nose. The first thing I want you to work on, Brady, is just a palm strike. So I'm gonna kneel down right here, and I want you to use this hand to palm strike the dragon right there. Oops, the other hand, cutie, this one, this one. Okay, so hands up, and when I say go, that's when I want you to palm strike him right here. Go out and right back. Ready, go. Very good, go. Same thing, palm strike, go. And go. Very good. Now you can work the same thing with punching ability. These are great for working with dragons on punches because they te technically they don't have real good skills and this is not going to hurt them because it will bounce back. So I want you to use the same hand and I want you to do punches right here and punch Mr. Dragon right in the nose. Ready, go. And again, go. And again, go. Very good. Now freeze for a second. Now I'm also going to use the same target to work on kicking. 
Now, targets aren't the best to work on kicking for power, but again, dragons tend to throw their whole body into it to get as powerful as, of a kick as they can, but technique tends to be second best when, it, when that happens. So what I'm going to tell Brady to do is just a toe touch. I just want him to use the bottom of his foot to touch the dragon. I want him just to hit right on the dragon and rather than working on power. Can you do that for me, Brady? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Now pull your hands up real high for me, kiddo, so we have good balance. And using this foot, I want you just to touch the dragon with the bottom of your foot right underneath your toes. Ready? Go. Good. Now do that one more time. Can you get a little higher? And one more time. And one more time. Very good. Give me five on that. Um, the targets are also really good for working with roundhouse kicks. Straight on kicks, like side kicks and front kicks, those, te those kicks the, the kids tend to try to want to use a lot of power with, so make sure that you're just calling them touches, so they don't just blast you and send your arm flying or, or right into yourself, so be careful. But focus is a real critical technique that they need to learn so that they have good skills. Um, now, Brady, we've worked on roundhouse kicks before, and I know that you guys have worked on roundhouse kicks, but make sure when you hold the target that you can just hold it like this, and that will give you a good, firm uh, support. And then we're just going to, whenever we hold for roundhouse kicks, we're going to point it right at the little dragon. Okay, I even, when, I'm, when I have the dragons holding for themselves, I have them point it like they're squirting them with a squirt gun. Okay, because a lot of times we'll end up holding it over here, and that's just not going to work for roundhouse kicks. So hold it right at them. And kiddo, I want you to put your hands up and put, switch your feet, put your other foot in front this time. Very good, now I want you just to lift and with the top of your foot, I want you to touch my dragon. Ready, go, good. Now this time I want you to do it a little bit faster. Ready, go, excellent, and again, go. And one more time, go, good, excellent. Give me a high five right there, awesome. The targets, again, are great for focus work. Use the Wave Masters for more of your power. Now we're going to work on some combinations. Some of the skills that I presented earlier with the blockers we can still do with the targets and we're going to put together a whole combination for them. So first of all, Brady, all I want you to do is duck when I swing this target at your head. Be careful, don't swing it too hard because you can clock them with the, block, with the target unlike the blocker. Okay, ready? So watch me, all eyes on me, and when I swing it at your head I want you to, to duck. Ready? Duck! Good, now come right back up. Now we're going to do that one more time. Ready? Duck! Excellent. Now this time, as soon as you come up, I'm going to have you do two blocks and then two palm strikes right on my targets. And when you do your palm strikes, I want you to try to crisscross, but I'll remind you as we get there. Okay, ready? Hands up for me. Hands up. Very good. And ready? Duck. Good. And then outside block. Outside block. High block. High block. Good. Now two palm strikes right here. Ready? One, two. Good. Now this time, crisscross your hand so that this hand touches this target. Ready? Go. Oh, not the same time, silly goose. Do it separate times. One, two. One, two. Excellent. Do that one more time. Ready? One, two. Excellent. One more time. Go. One, two. Good. So let's put this whole thing together. Okay, so put this foot in front for me. Excellent. And ready? We're going to duck first. So duck. Good. Then come right back up and we're going to block. Good. Block. Block up high and high and down. Let's add down blocks to this too. So down blocks. Good. And down blocks. Good. And then give me two palm strikes. Crisscross. One and two, very good. Now, as you can see, I'm coaching Brady through this a lot. He's one of our newer dragons, and he's a little on the younger side. So we're gonna just go real slow and just reiterate things. Remember, we want lots of successes, not failures. So Brady, let's do this again. Ready, let's do duck, boom, very good. Come back up and block, up high, good, block. And up high, and up high, and down low, and down low. And give me two palm strikes, crisscross. One, two, good. Now do that one more time, give me kias. One, two. One more time, kias. Key. <laughs> Just do a kia on the last one. One, two. Kia. Very good, give me a high five. Oh, give me a bigger high five. Excellent. Have fun. The kids will learn so much more if they're having fun. When it becomes a chore, when it becomes hard work, they shut down, they stop learning, and, and because they're not having fun, they're not learning. When they're not learning, what's the point of coming? And this will be, when this turns into a chore, they're not going to want to come, come to karate, they're not going to want to learn, they're not going to want to work hard, and you've undermined all of your successes. So make it fun and keep it simple. 
I, now this is a fun group activity to do with your blockers and targets. I'm just going to let the kids run laps right around the room. I'm going to hold my blocker about waist height and let them duck under as they run by. And I'm going to have Sensei holding his really low so that they have to jump over as they run by. The kids love this and it's a great way to run out their energy. Even if you're doing this at home, just to, on one on one, just have them run around the family room and, and jump over or duck under as they get by you. So see how this works. All right, dragons, are you ready? Yes. Okay, start running. And duck. Good. That's okay. Come on, keep going, keep going. Whoa, watch where you're going. Don't forget to jump and duck. Oh, oh. I didn't freeze right here. Freeze right here. Whoa. Good. All right, you guys stand right here. Ready, stands. Did you guys have fun? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had fun and they got a lot of energy out and they would keep going and keep going and keep going as long as you want them to. So if your class is getting a little unruly or if your dragon at home is getting a little unruly, run them. Now we're gonna combine the two. I've got my target and I've got my blocker. I'm gonna be working with Hunter on his striking, but I also want him to keep his guard up. And as we know, that can be very difficult for the beginner child to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him punch this target right here on the little dragon, and if he forgets to keep this guard up, then I'm gonna gently remind him by popping him in the head a little bit. Okay, Hunter, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, why don't you just go ahead and give me 10 punches, 10 reverse punches right there. One, two, Three. Oh, where's that guard? Four. Where's that guard? Five. That's it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Give me a high five right here. Excellent. You've got a good part guard position. I had to remind you a little bit at the beginning. Just not just re gently remind them. This is a great way for them to keep their guard up rather than nagging at them nonstop. Guard up, guard up, guard up, guard up. Okay, kiddo, come back over here. We're going to work on a little bit more advanced technique. What we're going to do is actually I'm going to have you do a block punch, block punch, block, punch, okay? So we'll do, why don't we do an outside block with this hand, and we'll just do a reverse punch with that hand, okay? Now we're gonna do it one, two. Ready, Hunter? Ready? Okay, good. All right, now ready, follow me. Block, punch, block, punch, block, punch. Good, now let's take this to a high block, so go really high for me, okay? Block, punch, block, punch, block, punch. Very good. Now, Hunter's pretty good, so he can do this. We are gonna combine the two. If you're working with real young kids or beginner kids, they might not be able to do this. But we're gonna have him block and punch at the same time. Hunter, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. You can do this, kiddo, so guard up for me. Ready, and go. Boom, boom, and again, and again, and again. Okay, good, now, see how Hunter's keeping his guard up, or his block right up there for me? I want you to bring that right back down, bring both hands right to your chin, good. Now, each time, you're gonna go here and here, okay, and here. That's it, kiddo, that's it. So they both come back same time, all right? This really works on their coordination a lot. Are you ready? Okay, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, give me a high five. Excellent. The kids love this, and this is a good way for them to really work on a lot of eye-hand coordination. So have fun. Now this next drill is a really fun game to play in class or at home between siblings. We call it sword and shield, or sometimes we even call it gladiator games. I put headgear on the kids just in case they get a little overzealous while they throw these, while they hit each other with these blockers. But they have targets on one hand to use as a shield, blockers in the other hand to use for striking. So let's see if these boys know how to do it. So boys, face each other first, okay? Now Michael, I want you to start. I want you to try to hit Matthew with your blocker right in his head and he's gonna block it with his target just like this. Ready, go. Good, all right. Now Matthew, I want you to do it back. Good, all right, you guys can hit hard because these don't, these don't hurt. Go ahead and do it again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And freeze, very good. All right, these boys do very well with this activity. So I'm gonna let them loose to play this game. Now you can do it a couple different ways. You can either just time the session and let them just go at it. I like to award points. Now what I do is I give them two points if they get each other in the head. I give them one point if they get an arm shot or a leg shot in, okay? So we'll actually do the points out. Now I've got twins, so this might be a little hard to count points, but we'll see what we can do here. So are you guys ready? 
Yes, ma'am. All right, attention bow to each other. And defense stances. And on your mark, get set, go. Make them clean shots, fellas, come on. Good, that was two points right here. Good, and two points right here, we got two to two. And I got one point right here, that's three. And another two points, that's four. We got four to three so far. And break, we got two points right here, and winner, five points, five to four. Hey, that was good, now look, now we don't do poor sportsmanship, do we here? Say no ma'am, so congratulate each other, give each other big hugs, big hugs, yay! <laughs> This is also a great opportunity to teach good sportsmanship, which little dragons need very much. So have fun and work on their blocking and targeting skills. Now this next activity is a lot of fun and it incorporates a lot of the different exercises that I've already presented. We're going to have them duck under, run through, jump over, and strike the targets. So watch this and see how much energy they, energy they use as well as the combination of skills put together here. Dragons, are you ready? Yes, ma'am! Okay, great! Ready and go! Bless you! And you run under, jump over, two palm strikes, boom! One, two! Kia! Kia! Very good, jump over! And then duck under. There we go. All right, let's see if we can go a little bit faster. Hunter, I think you can do this better. Let's see. Jump real big. Oh, yes. Very good. Jump real big and duck under. Wow, that's the energy I like to see. Come on, Brady. And jump. Crisscross. Boom, boom. Jump over. And duck under. Excellent. And come on, Eminem. Let's go. Very good. Crisscross. Yeah. And go over. Oh, turn your back. Is this Matthew or Michael? Michael, jump back over there. Real big jump. And duck under. Very good. And you want to do this one more time, Matthew? Let's see if we can do it better. Really run fast. Jump big. Oops, you missed your jump. Jump super big like Spider-Man. Boom, and crisscross. Yeah. And jump again. And duck under. Very good. Hunter, one more time. You did this so awesome. And ready. Good. Jump big. And crisscross. And jump big. And duck under. Excellent. And hold up right there. As you can see, depending on the age and the group, they did it differently. But that's okay, they're having fun, they're running, they're jumping, they're ducking, they're striking. They're using a lot of different skills. So have fun, and as you work this routine, you can vary it a little bit different. Have them work different skills, different strikes, different uh, punches, different kicks, different things like that. So have fun. Two, three, yeah! Yay, you guys did great!